I'd like to introduce and welcome our visitors. I'd like to welcome the parents of Major Andreas O'Keefe, Mr. Sean O'Keefe, Mrs. Mary Ann O'Keefe, his brother, United States Air Force Lieutenant Colonel retired, Sean O'Keefe, his sister, Bernadette Meyer, and his nieces, Tegan and Finland. I'd also like to welcome the father of Master Sergeant Christopher Raguso, Mr. John Raguso, and I'd like to uh, welcome Congressman Nick Lalota of New York's 1st Congressional District. I'd also like to welcome members of the New York City Fire Department and the North Fort Pipe and Drum. Today, we give special recognition to those service members of the Jolly 51 crash who died on March 15, 2018. Officiating at today's ceremony is Colonel Jeff Kinnett, Operations Group Command of the 106 Rescue Wing. I ask you now to please stand for the playing of the national anthem. Military members are asked to stand at attention and salute. And for others, please place your hand over your heart. Give the wing attention. Wing, attention, present, on. Give the wing at ease. Order, on, at ease. And now we'd like to invite Chaplain McCarty to deliver the invocation and the reading of Psalm 23. Would you join me in prayer? Heavenly gracious Lord, we come today on this sixth anniversary of Jolly 5-1. It's hard to believe that it's been six years and yet it feels like yesterday. The pain is still very real and your grace is still very much needed. As we take these few minutes this morning to remember, we ask that your presence might be among us. Would you fill this place, Lord, please, with your love, grace, and peace. We pray all this in your holy name. Amen. This is a Psalm of David, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, Chaplain McCarty. I'd now like to invite the Operations Group Commander, Colonel Jeff Kinnett, to offer a few words. Today, we honor our fallen heroes of Jolly 5-1. Six years ago, the seven brave men of Jolly 5-1 gave their last full measure. These airmen committed themselves to the most noble mission, our mission, the combat search and rescue mission. Their mission that fateful night was to position themselves closer to enemy forces, 
to be prepared to rescue troops about to engage our enemies on the battlefield. Like many rescue crews before them, they knew the dangers, they understood the cost, and were unwilling to leave their brothers in arms without the comfort gained of having the world's finest combat search and rescue forces standing nearby, ready to save their lives. After six years, it remains difficult to comprehend the tragic loss of these seven brave members of our rescue family. We can gain comfort knowing they saved lives, they returned wounded to their loved ones, they embodied our life-saving traditions and values. The hope they provided to civilians and military members around the world should be the guiding light we follow as we endeavor to do the same. We honor them today by speaking their names and remembering the sacrifices they made. We honor them every day by continuing the mission they paid the ultimate price for. We must never forget the crew of Jolly 5-1. It is imperative that we remember and continue their noble life-saving mission. Our motto in the rescue community is deeply rooted in sacrifice and a willingness to give whatever it takes to save another life. Most Americans will never grasp the weight of that motto. To we, in the combat rescue community, it has a deep personal meaning, a meaning that few in our nation have the courage to exemplify. To the crew of Jolly 5-1, it meant their lives. When we say these words, may we always remember these brave heroes, these things we do that others may live. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Kinnett. And now I'd like to invite Congressman Nick LaLota to offer a few words. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I want to thank everyone in attendance for being here today and for the command leadership for inviting me to speak. Um, I want to acknowledge the Raguso family from uh, Suffolk County for being here today and the O'Keefe family from Tampa, Florida uh, for being with us today. Uh, I'm Congressman Nick LaLota. I'm an 11-year Navy veteran and was born and raised right here on Long Island. And I understand one of Long Island's crown jewels is the 106th Rescue Wing. And the sacrifice of Jolly 5-1 is one of the 106 most honored tragedies. Their sacrifice both saddens and inspires us, as we are, and we are right to gather here today to memorialize them. While it is an incredible honor to serve Long Island in Congress, truth be told, the best job I ever had was being a young Naval officer deployed overseas, being in charge of some of our bravest and finest and most selfless Americans. Young Americans who put their country and fellow service members above themselves, just like those who flew on Jolly 5-1. The crew of Jolly 5-1 personifies the ethos of service and sacrifice, their unwavering commitment to saving lives, often in the face of perilous conditions, served as a testament to their dedication and duty and their unwavering camaraderie. They embody the values of courage, honor, and integrity, setting a standard for the rest of us to follow. Their story and their sacrifice serves as a sobering reminder of the dangers inherent in combat search and rescue, where every mission carries with it the possibility of facing the ultimate sacrifice. Yet, despite these risks, these brave men answered the call time and again, knowing full well the dangers which awaited them. Their courage knew no bounds and their resolve was unshakable, and they ventured to harm's way to rescue those in need. To honor their sacrifice, my staff and I have been working tirelessly, especially my casework director, Jenna Donahue, to push the Secretary of the Air Force to reconsider awarding a Purple Heart to the fallen, specifically my constituents, Christopher Raguso and Deshaun Briggs, who have previously been denied this honor. I forcefully disagree with the DOD's reasoning behind their denial, and I am committing you to again today to continue to make this push. Though they may be gone, the legacy of Jolly 5-1 lives on. They are a guiding light for those who carry on the noble tradition of combat search and rescue. Their memory serves as a source of inspiration, reminding us of the profound individuals, the profound impact individuals can have when they put service above self. And as we pay tribute to them today, we also renew our commitment to upholding the values for which they fought so valiantly. To the men and women of the 106 Rescuing and your families, your nation is proud of you. Our great country is only as strong as you are proficient and selfless. The nation does not take your sacrifice lightly, 
and the Congress owes it to you to ensure you have the proper equipment, training, and leadership, and you have my commitment to continue to do so. <sighs> to the crew of Jolly 5-1, while you're gone, you are not forgotten. We offer you our deepest gratitude and respect. May your courage continue to inspire future generations of CSAR aviators to serve with the same unwavering dedication and honor you displayed, ensuring your sacrifice will never be in vain. And to the families, the United States of America can never demonstrate enough condolences, and we can never heal your pain. But I can say with great confidence that the United States of America is the greatest nation in the world because of men and women who serve our country and the men who sacrificed in Jolly 5-1. They are willing to sacrifice so that we can remain the defenders of freedom and the beacon of hope and opportunity, and I thank you. And may God continue to bless Jolly 5-1 and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Lalota. I'd now like to invite everyone to please stand for the reading of the names of those who perished on the Jolly 51 mission. Give the wing attention. Wing, attention. Major Christopher Zanadis. Major Andreas O'Keefe. Captain Mark Weber. Master Sergeant Christopher Raguso. Master Sergeant William Posh. Technical Sergeant Deshaun Briggs. Staff Sergeant Carl Ennis. Give the wing at ease. At ease. I would like to invite everyone to join me in a litany of remembrance. And our response to litany will be, we will remember them. And the rising of the sun and it's going down, we will remember them. And the blowing of the wind and the chill of winter, we will remember them. And the opening of the buds and the rebirth of spring, we will remember them. And the blueness of the sky and the warmth of summer, and the rustling of the leaves and the beauty of autumn. We will remember them. And the beginning of the year and when it ends. We will remember them. When we are weary and in need of strength. We will remember them. When we have joys that we yearn to share. We will remember them. So long as we live, so too shall they live. And we shall always remember them. I would like now to invite the bagpipers from the North Park Pipe and Drum to lead us in a musical meditation.
now like to invite Chaplain McCarty to deliver the benediction. Let us pray once again. Heavenly Father, as we leave this place, we ask that you would continue to pour your grace and your peace down on each of the family members and friends of our heroes that perished on that fateful day six years ago. We continue to thank you for their service and their sacrifice to our nation. May we remember that they are gone from our presence, but they will never be gone from our heart. We ask that you would bring peace and safety to our world, especially those who are protecting freedom even today. And Lord, may we remain steadfast and faithful and continue to live out the core values that Jolly 5-1 lived out. Integrity first, service before self, and excellence in all we do. And we do these things that other may live. We pray all these things in your holy name. Amen. This concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming to honor these service members and to pray for them and to remember them and their families. Wing, fall out.